so I have here my student model uh, with for example name character field and I open shell here and I already prepared for objects and you can see it's all kind of uh, they all have name uh, similar to John but they all a little bit different for example here is a uh, lower lowercase first letter uppercase uh, here we have different accent on O and so basically if we have some kind of website then when user for example searches that name should contain I don't know uh, so when user for example searches for John like this we actually should I guess show them all of this stuff and as you can see uh, the simple name contains uh, option doesn't really work for us here so we have so we need to have more advanced search algorithms to actually uh, have a very simple input but uh, show all the similar similar stuff uh, as a result for the user and we have different things that we can do for example we might have this inexact contains search so it's different from just contains because it uh, does not really care about uh, if the letters are lowercase or uppercase and as you can see here uh, we found this john and this john uh, even though we specified lowercase j here, but because it's inexact, uh, we actually uh, found out the objects with uh, uppercase j for a name. But uh, we also see here this kind of John with accent on O, and we also need to show this uh, object as a result uh, for our user. And here, if you, for example, using the simpler, the if you're using very simple default database, SQLite, uh, actually you can kind of just stop here. That's it. You don't really, um, you can't really do much uh, regarding the advanced search. But for example, if you are if you are using Postgres database, uh, Postgres actually have uh, more stuff that you can do and uh, I will uh, show you how to connect to how to connect uh, Django to Postgres in some other to, uh, in some other videos uh, for now I will just show you that here in our settings we actually have uh, Postgres Postgres database here so we are using Postgres and uh, we actually need to add some stuff, uh, some particular functions in our migrations if you want to use them. So in order to do that, we need to create empty migration. Uh, we need to say make migrations empty and specify the application name. Okay, it's not querying, it's searching in our case and we can see here that we have created a migration and again if we are using Django database uh, if, we are, if we are using Postgres we can actually import something from Postgres like Trigram extension and Accent ex extension uh, so both of these functions they will help us to make more advanced searches so and here in operations we write 
program extension and an accent extension and basically we would save this and we actually would migrate and then uh, well I have already uh, I already done it so here I already migrated to trigram extension here and an, ex an accent extension here but uh, if you didn't already migrate as I said you need to create uh, empty migration file and add these operations here so I have already done it and basically I can use it I can use it in filtering and here I can say an accent so if you use it in SQLite you will get an error if you using in using it in Postgres but you don't uh, specify this uh, extensions you will also get an error an error but if you do everything right you will be able to use this uh, new options for filtering and here as you can see we specified John but we get this guy this guy this guy and even Jonas so as you can see we are getting a lot of different stuff uh, by using this very simple input here but even in this case of course we might have a problems because if we use the same options but specify Jonas for example uh, that's it we don't have any other results like John and this John but uh, again uh, when we are developing some a very big website we need to actually let user to write something like this Jonas and you know get all the similar similar results like John this John and different stuff and for that again we can use the other extension this trigram extension that will uh, help us to receive uh, similar stuff uh, similar uh, words to this Jonas so now we can actually use not only an accent but also trigram similar and now we can actually find John here and this John and this Jonas uh, again this is again this is not perfect because we have uh, we have this guy for example that we didn't get anyway and so you can see that you can uh, do a lot of different stuff uh, using using this extension extensions postgres extensions and uh, basically this is more related to postgres to Postgres so I will not go through all the extension extensions and you know I will not uh, show you the most the most perfect search ever uh, because uh, this is actually not really a Django topic but more of a Postgres topic more of a database topic but I anyway wanted to show you that this is possible uh, you can use these extensions from Postgres and you can do more advanced searches on the database and i hope that was useful to you